Welcome. Our topic coverage in this review questions is all about data analytics for local treasury, specifically in tax analysis. Number 1. What is the primary source for determining the assessed value of a real property for tax computation purposes? A. The property owner's estimate. B. The market value of similar properties. C. The assessment role submitted by the local assessor. D. The tax ordinance of the LGU concerned. Answer, C, the assessed value of the real property is taken from the assessment role submitted by the local assessor concerned. Number 2, what is the formula for computing the tax discount on RPT for advanced and prompt payment? A, discount equals, assessed value, multiplied by, basic tax rate minus discount rate. B, discount equals, Assessed value, multiplied by, discount rate plus interest rate. C, discount equals, assessed value, multiplied by, tax rate, multiplied by, tax discount rate. D, discount equals, assessed value, multiplied by, discount rate, multiplied by, interest rate. Answer, C, the formula for computing the tax discount for advanced and prompt payment is given as discount equals, assessed value, multiplied by, tax rate, multiplied by, tax discount rate. Number 3. Which component is not part of the computation of the basic tax and SEF tax on RPT? A, assessed value of the real property. B applicable tax rate c approved tax ordinance of the lgu concerned d property owner's income answer d the property owner's income is not a component in the computation of the basic tax and SEF tax. Number 4, Mr. Bellyrick owns a residential lot with an assessed value of 2 million. If the LGU imposed the maximum rates allowed on RPT, how much is the total tax due if there is no discount or interest? A. 60,000 B. 50,000 C. 40,000 D. 20,000 Answer, C. Basic tax due equals 2 million times 1% equals 20,000. SEF tax due equals 2 million times 1% equals 20,000. Total tax due equals 20,000 plus 20,000 equals 40,000. Number 4. What is the first step a taxpayer must take to protest a real property tax according to Section 252 Paragraph A of the Local Government Code? A. File a written protest within 30 days. B. Request a refund for the tax paid. C. Pay the tax and annotate paid under protest on the tax receipt. D. Appeal to the Local Board of Assessment Appeal. Answer, C, 
according to Section 252 paragraph A of the LGC, the taxpayer must first pay the tax and annotate paid under protest on the tax receipt before any protest can be entertained. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment your questions and clarifications below. For the continuation of this video, please see the link in the comment section.